so we had already seen what solid solutions are basically in the previous video and uh, it is quite similar to liquid solutions and uh, this can this area of study comes under the impurity defects under point defects wherein an impurity atom is considered is considered as the solute and the host atom is considered as a solvent so we know that if i if this is the impurity atom the blue circle represents impurity atom this in the first case and in the second case also as i am showing this is we know that this is the interstitial type of defect and this is substitutional so this interstitial uh, or a material which has interstitial impurity defect is called as interstitial solid solution and where there is a substitutional defect it is called as substitutional solid solution so now what are the factors for successful formation of solid solutions uh, it is not that very easy for an impurity atom to go and occupy either the interstitial positions or substitute in the atomic arrangement itself so these are the four points or four factors if they are followed properly then only the material has a proper solid solution so the first point is the atomic size of the impurity atom so if the atomic size varies or large or small it decides whether there can be a proper formation as we had seen in one of the videos in the, one of the slides in the previous videos that even in the substitutional type there are two different uh, scenarios based on the size of the atom the next point is crystal structure so whether the material or the solid has an fcc or a bcc or any type of crystal structure that also plays a very important role for how easily the solid solution forms the next point is electronegativity the third tro negativity so the the less electronegative difference it is much better for the formation of a solid solution if there is uh, a very high uh, uh, very high difference then it does not allow for formation of solid solutions and the last point is vacancies oh uh, sorry sorry it's valencies if the valences of the impurity atom is high compared to the host atom then there are high chances that the solid solution can be formed so there are these four important factors which are Uh, useful to understand whether the impurity atom can go and set in the host atom now how do you study the composition of solid solution so you study or you understand the composition of solid solution on the basis of weight percent and atom percent 
So let us try to analyze or understand how this weight percent and atom percent is evaluated. So let us say that small m1 is weight of say host atom and m2 is weight of impurity atom. So I can say total weight of solid solution can be given as m equal to m1 plus m2. So this is the total weight of the solid solution. So I can give something called as weight percent of impurity of host atom so is given as capital W1 which is equal to mass of the host atom upon total mass so what is mass of or I should say uh, sorry weight of host atom upon total weight so into this ratio into 100 so w1 is nothing but m1 upon m into 100 similarly weight percent of impurity atom is given as W2 capital W2 looking at this we can say that it should be equal to M2 by M into 100 now there is an interesting or it's very obvious that if I add a W1 plus W2 which is nothing but M1 upon m into 100 plus m2 by m into 100 I take out m common in the denominator as well as 100 I get m1 plus m2 but I know m1 plus m2 is nothing but m right so 100 upon m into m so finally I get this as 100 so the addition of weight percent is always equal to 100 so this was about weight percent let us see what is atom percent now to understand the concept of atom percent we need to understand that the atom percent for the solid solution is represented in the form of mole percent so if you find out the mole percent it is nothing but the atom percent because we know that moles is related to number of atoms that is through Avogadro's law right so let us try to find out the mole percent or the atom percent so let us say that n1 is number of moles 
of host atom okay so we know that moles number of moles is equal to m1 that is mass upon the atomic weight so i am writing down this formula number of moles is equal to mass upon atomic weight so m1 is the mass of host atom and this is atomic weight of host atoms okay similarly n2 is number of moles of impurity atom i can write down n2 is equal to m1 uh, sorry m2 by a2 right now i can write total number of moles n is equal to n1 plus n2 so atom percent of host atoms is given as sorry a1 is equal to moles of host atom upon total moles into 100 so this is nothing but n1 upon n into 100 similarly atom percent of impurity atom is given as a2 these are capital a1 and a2 is n2 upon n into 100 similarly a1 plus a2 is nothing but equal to 100 you can find out this in the quite similar way how i found out w1 plus w2 so the weight percent and the atom percent is equal to 100 so kindly refer to a numerical on the same which is attached